YouTube, welcome back to your favorite aviation channel. And today we are finally doing another airport update for Bloomington Central Illinois Regional Airport. This is my first Bloomington update in well over two years. I believe the last time I did a Bloomington update was sometime in early 2020. It was a combined update, Bloomington and Champaign. So I haven't done either airport update since then, primarily because they're both small airports, not very interesting, not much uh, goes on at either of them. Um, you know, un unless certain days, but still not the most interesting airports, especially compared to O'Hare and even Karachi. So it's not really worth doing regular updates for either of them. Um, but the reason why I decided to do this one time or one off update for Bloomington is because um, literally the year after uh, my last Bloomington update in 2020, uh, in 2021, a couple models that I had desperately needed for Bloomington um, were released. So I, I bought those models in that year. And as such, I've been meaning to do this updated Bloomington video for quite some time. It's very long overdue. So of course those models are none other than the Delta CRJ 900 and the American CRJ 900. You can probably look back at my previous Bloomington updates and hear me kind of complaining about how Gemini Jets won't release either model. American Eagle ERJ 140, sorry, uh, CRJ 700. And this is going to be operating flight 5843 to Dallas, Fort Worth. And this flight is um, a CRJ 900, but I'm still waiting on Gemini Jets to release that. Hopefully they do soon. And uh, like I've said, every single update in real life, this flight is a CRJ 900, but Gemini hasn't released one. So hopefully they will soon, because I could for sure use an American CRJ 9 and a Delta CRJ 9. But for now, you're going to have to deal with the 700. This is obviously supposed to, well, not obviously, you don't know this, but it's supposed to be a CRJ 900. That's what Delta's flying into Bloomington nowadays. As you can see by the schedule, it's just mostly CRJ 900s. But yeah, basically my point is that um, the only Delta plane we're getting here at Bloomington nowadays is the CRJ 900. Hopefully Gemini Jets can release a, a 900 from Delta and American soon. I would love to see that. And uh, I speak for a bunch of other people as well. Like I've mentioned before, Bloomington only gets the CRJ 900 now. We don't get the 700. So Gemini Jets, hopefully, they'll, re they'll release a 900 soon. Um, but yeah, just across the terminal, we have an American CRJ 700 filling in for our 900 because I don't have a 900. Once again, Gemini Jets, we're really waiting on a CRJ 900. Same with Delta. Um, so if they can hurry up and make uh, American CRJ-9, that would be great. And the funny thing is both of these are supposed to be CRJ-900s. Uh, both of them are 900s in real life. Gemini Jets, please, if you could release an American CRJ-900 and a Delta CRJ-900 again, um, I think a lot of us would appreciate that. What they did in 2021, literally just months, um, a couple months after each other. So finally have one of those, one of each of those two planes. Um, they did also recently release the Mesa house livery uh, white CRJ 900, which I'm kind of glad I didn't get because, well, we'll go more into that later. Mesa, long story short, Mesa is no longer going to be flying for American effective from April. So I'm kind of glad I didn't get that model. But anyway, um, the airport, for those of you who have been watching, who have seen the earlier Bloomington updates, is basically the exact same. A, f uh, a few minor changes, though. The only major change I'd say for this current update is just the terminal. If you remember in previous updates, it was a foam terminal. Um, because I ended my Illinois Gateway Fictional Airport, I decided to put some of the pieces or, you know, elements from that airport into my other projects. So this Lego terminal is just kind of a temporary set up here. It came from the Illinois Gateway Airport, of course. Um, so that's really the only thing that's changed. As far as Bloomington Airport goes in real life, um, I was looking at recent Google Maps images. They have changed the apron a little bit. Gate 6 right here were Frontier Parks. Um, they have updated the ground markings. So the gate markings, they've added um, you know, new safety markings for where the engines are, um, you know, just for the ground crew to be safe around the aircraft. Um, gate six is of course where Frontier Park's at. So they have the red boundary zones around the engines marked out on the apron. I don't know the exact terminology because I'm not a ramp agent, but um, yeah, so they have that marked out. And I think gate eight, um, both of the stands or the parking areas for gate eight, they also have had new uh, boundary markings added. 
So everything else though is basically the exact same as far as I'm aware. So yeah, this is the passenger apron as you can see. Oh yeah, by the way, if you haven't noticed with, with all the lens changes and all that, um, I did upgrade the phone. We upgraded recently from an iPhone 4, uh, sorry, iPhone XR all the way up to the 14 Pro. That's a big jump in generations. So it was long overdue and I'm glad I was able to do it. Um, of course, I chose the 14 Pro because it's got the three cameras. So you can, you know, it, it gives you, I guess, better quality, better video quality, better photo quality, which is pretty relevant. Um, so you can, of course, the coolest thing about it is this is this feature was present with the earlier phones to the 11 and the 12 and the 13 but it's new for me because i came from the the xr the 10 which didn't have any of these so you can of course interchange between all the different you know cameras and stuff which is pretty cool of course it even goes up to wide angle which is crazy wide angle i think the audio is a bit different you might have noticed the audio change i don't know I think the audio does kind of get weirder, more distorted if you do wide angle. I've noticed from other people's videos, but anyway. Um, so I'm gonna try to get used to this new lens setup. You know, you'll see me finicking with the different setups in this video. I'll, I'll try to get used to it for future uploads. And then over here at the cargo center, here's another thing that's basically the exact same. Um, FedEx is still here. There have been some rather interesting cargo movements at Bloomington in recent history, and we'll get into that once we get to that point, but um, everything else is basically the same. You have runway 1129, part of it back there. That's the secondary runway. The main runway is uh, runway 02 and 20, which runs perpendicular, pretty much. They mainly use that runway. So yeah, um, brief update regarding the services. Um, still four airlines. Uh, Allegiant is the one that's missing here from passenger service. Uh, I don't have Allegiant because um, they fly in at a different part of the day. This update is based on a Monday at around 10 a.m. So normally you'd only see Frontier at that time, um, but these three are early morning departures. They're delayed. They were delayed because of heavy fog, which we've actually been experiencing a lot of recently. Um, so especially I was driving through Bloomington last week and there was so much fog. Um, coming through there so um, yeah it's not a outlandish scenario for sure um, so the, the flights the, the routes and everything American Airlines of course operated by American Eagle we have the Embraer 145s and uh, these operate about two times a day to Chicago and then of course we have the CRJ 900 which operates also and the, um, sorry American Eagle Embraer 145s they're operated by Envoy Air that's the subsidiary operating them the CRJ 900s twice a day to Dallas Fort Worth, operated by Mesa Airlines for the time being. Um, next up, of course, Delta. They've had Atlanta, of course, still have Atlanta twice a day. Uh, Atlanta, yeah, Atlanta is twice a day. And then since the last update in 2020, they recently brought back Detroit, um, which is really nice. That's also on the CRJ 900, operated by, I can never tell if it's either Endeavor Air or SkyWest. They're always changing between the two. They never really have a set. Um, subsidiary operating the Atlanta flights, either a SkyWest plane or a Endeavor Air plane or whatever it's called. Um, so Detroit is actually two times a week. That's the only non-daily service from the legacy carriers. And then Atlanta, like I said, is twice a day. We're not going to get Minneapolis back. They've cut that route a long time ago, even before the pandemic. But yeah, Delta is currently all CRJ 900s. They did, when they brought back Detroit in 2021, it was a CRJ 200 but I guess they've upgaged to a 900, which is good, I guess. Um, and then Frontier is Orlando year round. Denver, I believe is still seasonal. They did bring, they added new service to Las Vegas sometime in last year, or the year before. That lasted like two weeks and then they cut it. So yeah, that, that route did not do very good. It was unfortunate because Bloomington didn't have any previous routes to the West Coast. So it was nice to see Las Vegas, but yeah, they cut that. Um, and then uh, I think they also had Tampa. They recently brought that in this past summer, which was seasonal. I don't know if it's still going on, but Tampa, they also brought to Bloomington. I don't know if it's still going on, but you'll see a note. I might've left a note um, you, showing you or telling you what the services were. You might've already seen that by now. And then Allegiant, the other one that's not here or the only airline that's not here in this video, I believe Orlando Sanford, Punta Gorda, and St. Petersburg are the only three services they have year-round. And then 
seasonally, I think they're still offering Sarasota and Destin. I think Destin might have been cut, but Sarasota and Destin are, I think, seasonal. So that's what the routes are right now for Bloomington. Uh, let's get started with the, the flights. Um, so gate six right here, Frontier's gate. Um, again, only, what just happened? Frontier only uses this gate, uh, gate six. Um, sorry, the cameras, it just spazzed out again. I don't know how to fix that. Okay, maybe that's better. Okay, Frontier A321 here at gate six just landed from Orlando as flight 1026. And I believe it's the same flight number back to Orlando. If not, it's flight 1027. So it is a 321, which is pretty crazy. Um, this thing has 217, I think, seats. That's more than the British Airways 7878, maybe even the American 7878. Quite a few 7878s. It's got more seats than 217 seats in this thing. And they fly it to Bloomington now regularly from Orlando, which is crazy. Um, this is the biggest plane Bloomington gets for passenger service. And it's crazy. I'm thinking of going to Bloomington just to see this. It's a 40 minute drive. So maybe it's not worth it because when this plane comes in at 9.50 a.m., it is the only plane. And then it leaves at 10.50. And then the only plane that comes after that is the 145, which lands at like 11. But still, 321 in Bloomington, we get that. Uh, Orlando, or Orlando, sorry, is running twice a week right now. It used to be three times a week before the new year, but now it's currently twice a week, as far as I'm aware, on 321. And then normally everything else is a A320 Neo. So, yeah, we're getting three. We've been we've been getting these since like 2019, but um, still pretty crazy. I'd love to go to Bloomington someday just to see this, but then again, it's a 40 minute drive, and then it's just this one plane. So let me know if you want to see that. I don't know. Okay, Delta Sierra 900. Uh, this was a scheduled departure at 5:45 a.m., but because of the heavy fog, they delayed it a little bit. So now it's just getting ready to leave. Uh, first flight of two. First flight. First of two flights today that they have to Atlanta. I forgot the flight number, to be honest. I don't remember any of the flight numbers for um, the next two planes either. So yeah, that's going to Atlanta at 5.45 a.m., delayed. Uh, over here, gate five, which is American's gate, one of two gates they have. Um, CRJ 900 operated by Mesa Airlines. This is, I believe, a 7 a.m. flight to DFW originally, but it is delayed, it was delayed. Um, it's just, just finished up boarding, just getting ready to detach the gate and taxi out for departure to DFW. And then over here at gate three, which is basically, this is only used by the 145 and then gate five is always the CRJ. Um, but the 11 a.m. flight from Chicago, that uses gate five, by the way. I just wanted to make that addition, why not? But here is gate three, American number 145, operating the, I think it's a 7 a.m., 7.30, maybe 8 a.m., I don't know, flight to Chicago. So these three flights, uh, airplanes, this one, this one, this one, they all overnight, they arrive the night before in Bloomington from their respective hubs, and then they remain overnight, depart back out to their hub cities um, the following morning. So that's how that works. Uh, and then regarding Mesa Airlines for American, if you didn't hear, uh, Mesa and American are ending their contract, meaning from April of this year, um, Mesa Airlines will no longer be a regional subsidiary operating for American Eagle. So they won't be flying the CRJ 900s for them anymore. As far as I'm aware, these CRJ 900s are going to go to United. So I don't know what's going to happen to Bloomington service. It's either going to be switched to the CRJ 700 operated by Envoy Air, or it's going to go to the Ember 175 like it did a few months ago or a few weeks ago. They actually were flying the 175 to Bloomington um, daily from DFW. So it might go back to that, I think, once Mesa's contract expires. And then the... Chicago service is going to stay the 145. So, yeah. So that's it with the passenger terminal. Um, quick thing regarding the other gates. Here's gate two, which is the only only other gate, sorry. Um, nobody uses this right now. Delta used to use it. Um, they When they used to fly the CRJ 200 here, um, they would park it at gate two. I don't know why they would never park it over there, but gate two is where they'd park the CRJ 200s for Delta. Um, so they're not currently used right now because we don't get the 200s from Delta, but gate two is normally a Delta gate. Um, so that's the passenger terminal. Moving on now to cargo. We've got the FedEx 75, oh, sorry. One of the gates just got moved. But yeah, FedEx 757 here at the uh, cargo center. This landed like two days ago as flight 1512 from Memphis. Uh, it's just sitting here. Uh, FedEx's schedule is kind of weird. They have one plane that comes in from Memphis 
and then just sits here for like two or three days, then go back goes back out to Memphis. And then they have a second one which comes in from Memphis and then stays here for 30 minutes, then goes to Madison. It's, uh, yeah, I'm not too sure how their schedule works still. But yeah, FedEx is still here, still going strong. Um, of course, they're the only cargo airline flying regularly to Bloomington. But recently, um, Bloomington's twin city, it's Bloomington Normal, technically, that's the, the two cities. Um, recently, Rivian, which is an electric car company, they recently opened up a factory a plant in Normal, I think two or three years ago. And because of the new factory, uh, Bloomington's been getting a couple of charters, cargo charter flights, primarily from Aeronaves, TSM. So they've been getting a lot of DC-9s, MD-80s, CRJ-200 freighters, um, bringing in, I think, I think it's mainly just cargo, uh, sorry, uh, car parts for the electric cars they build in the factory. Um, so they've been getting a couple of those every now and then, which is really cool. I'm thinking next time one of those comes in, I'll probably go see it, but no promises. I don't I don't think I will, but yeah, they have been getting a couple of those. Um, it's primarily been Aeronaves, the DC-9s, MD-80s, and CRJ-200s. Nothing else besides FedEx with regards to cargo. So yeah, um, so that's really it, to be honest. Covered cargo, passenger, all that stuff, and that's really it, as far as I'm aware. Um, thank you so much for watching. I think this is probably the longest Bloomington update I've done ever. Not really, maybe not, but it's a pretty long update for a small airport. But let me know what you thought of it. If you enjoyed, give the video a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. It would really help us out too. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, Wednesday's video will most likely be a collection update. I was supposed to do that video before the new year, like December 31st, like always, like I had initially planned. Um, I wasn't even, well, stuff happened, so I wasn't able to do it at other videos to do. Um, so the collection update will hopefully be up by Wednesday. And then I think my new upload schedule is just going to be Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. It's probably the best, I think. But let me know what you think about that. Also, let me know what you thought about the, the new phone, the quality, if it's any better, and uh, how often you want to see these Bloomington videos. I'll see what I can do. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for a lot of exciting videos coming out over the next couple of weeks. Um, that's it. Thanks again. Take care, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.